welcome to Reality Tea Times 2, the podcast where we discuss all the trash reality TV we love to hate. I am Tanika, and today we are going to be jumping in with Lovers and Liars. But before we do, we do have some hot cause. So apparently Hannah Brown is engaged. I did not know this. The main thing I'm going to talk about here is that uh, I guess Tyler Cameron will have be invited to her wedding. Who knows? Whatever. Moving on. (laughs) But congrats to Hannah for being engaged. And as I've mentioned on the um, episode of Milf Manor from last week, um, Joan is our golden bachelorette, our first golden bachelorette. And I'm very excited. I'm so happy for her. It's, it's, It's just, it's great for her because her time was cut short. Again, I think probably for the best. And, um, it's, I'm, I'm happy for her. Um, so we will, I guess at this point, we're probably getting close to finding out who the golden men are going to be, um, once we get to that, but I'm really happy for her. Um, I, I, I'm really happy for her. And again, there are a lot of people I've seen in different spaces kind of poo-poo her being the bachelorette, thinking that she's really young and really no different than the burglary people that we normally see. Yes, she is definitely a blonde haired, I don't know if she has blue eyes, but when I mean, you get the drift, she's a gorgeous woman. She's 61, y'all. She's 61 years old. She is, none of them women on his season were below the age of 55. So I don't know where any of that is coming from, but she is 61 years old. She looks incredible for her age, mind you, but she's 61. So this is deserving. She deserves this. So I'm happy for her. Next piece. Below decks, Captain Sandy is now married to her now wife, Leah Schaefer, and they got married on a super yacht. So, so they got married on May 11th and Captain Sandy confirmed this on Instagram. They both said their I do's on a super yacht owned by a friend of theirs. Um, and it's a 10 hair care founder, Carolyn Arnson, I believe that's how I say her name. Um, this was said by Captain Sandy. So quote, I had no idea how amazing marriage could be. It feels incredible. And I feel like the luckiest woman in the world. And this was said on April 14th. She says, I love you, Leah, Ray, Yawn. Thank you for taking my name. Thank you to our entire family and friends for coming out to show your love and support to our relationship. I will have some pictures of them. Captain Sandy looks incredible. Her makeup is on point. Oh, anyways, um, Sandy also shared videos from the wedding, which she said was filmed for a special Below Deck Mediterranean episode that will air on June third. Okay. So we're going to actually, I guess, kick off the season with her being, getting married first. Okay. Um, or maybe they're saying the entire season and then we'll, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see it eventually. Um, Sandy thanked Below Deck executive producer Nadine Raja B for officiating their wedding. That's really great. Um, the other thing that isn't mentioned actually in this article, but um, a friend of mine actually mentioned this because we talked about it the other day. Is Dave? Dave was their chef at their wedding, so he clearly he made an impression on Captain Sandy. Um, but yes, that is basically it. Um, I uh, I will post the pictures again uh, for, for once this episode is out, but. Let's get into the reason that we are here. Lovers and Liars, season one, episode five. You kind of look, yes, or you can look, but you can't DM. 
So here comes Nikki carrying a laptop. Um, she's like, I got a surprise. It's time to look at the socials. I love this episode. I love these episodes. You can't DM though. No one DM. And so we start with India. There's probably some people I miss, but we start with India. And she's clearly confident. We she's got brat, uh, grad pictures up. And CJ's loving it. Jan Danielle is next. And she has a shirt. I think this is what it says. It's the, I can't read it. Something about cum or something like that. I think. But anyways, Benny thinks that she's maybe a little messy. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, he, you can see that she likes to go out raving because she's probably really young and he's thinking F girl. That's the way it'd go. Yeah. Then we look at Mishi. This is very interesting. Her socials do not give F girl vibes, even though we do know she is one. But maybe she is only here for follows. Mm, and the money. Hannah is pretty okay. Hers. Um, I think it's Yasno. Yas, Yasn, Yasmona? I don't think I, I completely butchered her name. She has nothing. Nada. No posts whatsoever. She has clearly scrubbed her social media. That is interesting. That gives me an F girl vibe. Jocelyn um, is next, and there's like a video of her pole dancing, and um, there's like animal pictures and family pictures. There's a happy medium between living life and showing her life. You know, it's it's, it's great. Camille is next. And she has a lot of follows. And they're like, oh my god, she has so many follows. She's clearly just here for follow Y'all, she was on fucking blow deck. She has such a lot of followers. Let's move on. Um, so that doesn't actually bother me at all. Because I'm like, we're trying to pretend like my girl wasn't on another show. But she was. And, um, which I don't know why. I guess maybe they can't say. But they could say like she was on another popular show. And not necessarily name the show. Because we didn't know Vince was on another show. I can't remember if they necessarily said what show he was on. But we didn't know he was on another show. So I don't understand why they can't just not pretend like she was on another show. That is huge. It's one of the most popular Bravo shows. And she was on the OG version of it. Like come on. We're going to pretend. But anyways, I will not pretend. So that didn't bother me, like I said. But she only has like 20 posts. That's interesting. I I feel like Camille doesn't just have 20 posts. Maybe she scrubbed hers too. I don't know. Um. Yeah, but I wrote, that's weird. That's suspicious. I think she scrubbed it for sure. Kara's next. And... And her social, she kind of comes across as a fixin, even though on this island, she doesn't come across that way. She comes across as very quiet and very shy, very timid. Could she be an F-girl? We don't know. Sabrina um, is a horse girl and a pageant girl. And I think that is kind of making, I can't remember who she's kind of talking to, is Casey. I think it kind of makes him feel like, oh, maybe I'm not enough for her kind of thing. Cindy is next. And she does have like a post or like a video of some sort where she says, if you are 6'5 with tats, hit me up. And that is giving me F-girl vibes. It, it truly is. Now. For those who watched the episode will know this goes pretty bad, pretty quick. Um, but I do believe she's an F girl. And why six five? Why so everybody if oh you're six four, you're too short. This is weird. Anyway. And everyone says F girl, like everyone is saying that she's an F girl that's here. Like 
Casey and and um Benny are both saying like that's an F girl vibe. And CJ thinks I have potentially the most F girls left. I think so. I really do. Anyway, we're with the ladies. And Camille is like, something feels a little off. Like we haven't seen any of the guys all day. Like what's going on? And then here they come. They come just in the nick of time. And CJ is like, so we saw your socials today and we know everything. He's coming in like he's pissed. And CJ is like, Sydney, let's go talk. Benny's like, Jan Danielle, let's go talk. And then Casey's like, Hannah? So they're all going to be talking to, I guess, their respective women. Except for CJ only seems to talk to Cindy and that's it. They usually not talk to anybody else, but let's go through it. Benny says to Jan Danielle, so you party alone, huh? Are you mature? Like, do you want to be in a mature relationship? And she's like, well, it's kind of like a persona. What the fuck? It's a person. Maybe yes, to some extent it's a persona, but isn't she also an F girl? I thought she was an F girl for sure. Like we, we got confirmation on Jan Danielle and Mishi that they're F girls. Like, anyways. Um, yeah, nothing kind of adds up with this one. And he says, you give F girl vibes. And she says, but I shouldn't be judged. Uh, based on my social media. It's a small part of my life. And it's like, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Casey tells Hannah, you bougie. You know, you intimidate me. Am I your type? And she says, it's just pictures, like a portfolio for my clients. Oh, maybe. Then CJ says to Sydney, you are an F girl. You give F girl vibes. What's on social media isn't me, she says, ma'am. You literally have a video on there saying, if you're six five with tats, hit me up. That's you. Don't say you're pretending like that at you. That's you. She's like, it's a business. Asking guys who are six five with tats is your business? What's your business? Come on now. Um so it's not the real her. I'm a nice girl. Well, well, I will see. I personally would be surprised if she's a nice girl. I really, really would be surprised if she's a nice girl. And it's not like the, like with, with F Boy Island, where sometimes they'll be like, you know, I kind of liked you, you know, even though I'm an F Boy, like I kind of like you. These girls are ruthless. They don't give a shit about these guys. Um, so Benny pulls Jocelyn and Casey pulls Mishi. And Benny tells uh Jocelyn that your social media is great. You know, pole dancing though. I mean, come on. Casey tells Mishi, so you're a social media star. She's like, well, I wouldn't say I'm a star. But says everything's great, you're good. My guy. But she's good. Her social media does not at all show she's an F girl. At all. I don't know if she's it or what, but like she's good. Um, so you know, you're a fun girl, and he loves that. Casey tells Sabrina it's all good. She says that, um, there's Sabrina and then there's Brie Brie who you know rides without a saddle. She's like, Oh, that sounds worse than I meant it to be. Then, uh, Casey talks to Camille, he's like, You know not mad, just disappointed, you know, I don't know who you are, and, you know, again, you, she's like, you don't know me, well, then help him know you, Camille, and he's like, I don't trust you, and Camille's like, okay, I just want to walk out at this point, because, like, you want to know me, then fine, here I go. I grew up in Mississippi. I lost everything f- due to Katrina when I was uh, seven years old. I lived in a trailer. I'm she's like I lived in the Virgin Islands. Um, it's like what else do you want to know? I worked on boats before, <laughs> but I feel like I actually learned a lot about her in this quick ten seconds than I did through pretty much an entire season of her on Below Deck. Um, 
But yeah, that's a start. Casey is like, finally, finally, I know something about you. And I'm like, yes, I still think she's an F girl. But anyways, she says in the, in the moment, this is my life. I'm not hiding anything. And she says that with a smile. She's a fucking, I said that from the day one, she's an F girl. And if she's not an F girl, I'm shocked. Anyway, Hannah comes in. And he, he then I want to talk to Hannah. But anyways, like you're confusing. Why would you prefer a roller coaster? I think you're talking about, I think you're talking, oh, I see. I see what happens. Hannah kind of came in while Casey was kissing Camille. And she's like, I don't get you. Like, clearly you prefer a roller coaster and that ain't me, you know? And we see Casey, there's a a little bit of a theme here. He tells all of the women, all of the women that he talks to, that, listen, I just want to sit on a porch with my dog. Maybe your dog too, if you have a dog. And just, you know, just watching the dog. Meanwhile, Cindy was talking to CJ for two hours. That's a long fucking time. Um, and did he even talk to other people? The answer is no. He did not talk to other people. Anyway, it's mixer time. And Mia talks to him first. And she takes this opportunity to tell him, listen, Sid, she's an F girl. Mina, it was the Yasmina, I think it was her name. She's also an F girl. She scrubbed her socials. There's, she's a fucking F girl. She's seen the show and she knows shit and she scrubbed her socials. Then Sid t- talks to CJ after. And he's like, listen, I saw her talk to Mia and she thinks you're an F girl. She's like, the fuck? Then Sid says to Mia, you got my name in your mouth. Why? And she says, well, he asked me a question and I answered, Mia, when? When did he ask you a question? Because I missed that. I didn't see him ask her a fucking question because the fact that she's taking the opportunity to talk about other people, like you're not playing this game right, like at all. And we'll get to it. You're not playing this game right at all. Don't talk about other people. Make yourself desirable to him. Like, come on. So, so anyway, she's like, that's, that's unfair because you don't know me. And Camille is triggered. Camille is triggered because she's like, you know, I've been saying shit that me is this and me is that, but y'all are we're good. And, and now look. <laughs> okay, Camille, calm down. And Sid is like, well, you are valid to your own opinion. What? The fuck does that even mean? But anyway, CJ tells Mina, again, the same situation, been told you're an F girl. And Mina's like, she's an idiot. She's a liar. And whatever. I'm like, but honey bunny, you scrubbed your socials. Mia doesn't need to say shit because you scrubbed your social media. Like, it's pretty evident that you're probably an F girl. But again, Mia's causing some drama because, again, Mina confronts her too. She's like, oh, you too. <laughs> and then Jocelyn is like, I'm too nice. And he says, let me, um, uh, something, something about Fa coming and stealing some Benny away or some shit. But anyways, let's continue. Then Mina is like, do I get F girl vibes? I have been the nicest person here. What does the fuck does that mean? Just because you may be the nicest person to the women doesn't exclude you from being an F girl. Those two things don't come together, but that's okay. It's now elimination time, so let's get to it. So Benny's bottom two is Jan Danielle and Mia. Interesting, because Mia's not even talking to Benny. CJ's bottom two is Cindy and Mina. I do wonder if CJ said, yo, can you, can you add Mia to the mix for you? Or when do you do it? Because I kind of want her out too. I wonder. But anyways, Casey is bottom two is Sabrina and Lexi. So Jen Danielle, your social media kind of gives me an F girl vibe. 
And Mama Mia, I mean, I got a hunch you're an F girl. I really do. And Mina is told, you are one way here and you appear to be another way on social media. Like, what the fuck? And Cindy, I still got doubts about you. And she calls him my boo thing. And kind of like one of the girls in the previous elimination goes and hugs him. And I'm like, nah, girl, you're an F girl. Sabrina, you are so perfect that I don't think I can fulfill you. Lexi, you know, we just haven't had time. That's all it is. It's none of time. Lexi is like, I don't think we would have, sorry, I think we would have great sex. It was at this point that I'm like, F girl? Because I'm like, that's interesting. Why are we just focusing on that? But anyways, she's like, you asked me, you wanted me to choose you, so I'm asking you to choose me. Okay. But anyways, being eliminated is Mia, Mina, and Lexi. So what are you? Are you an F girl or are you a nice girl? Mina is a nice girl. Interesting. Because it's interesting because Mia's like, oh, she's, she's a, she's, a, she's an F girl. And I was saying the same thing too, because she scrubbed her fucking socials. She's a nice girl. Interesting. Um, everyone's like, what the fuck? And that is also interesting because the fact that everyone's like, what? She clearly gave some sort of vibe. But anyways, I, I wrote here, you did the opposite of what you're supposed to do. If you're a nice girl, you don't, maybe she doesn't post anything. That's possible, but it does feel like she scripted her social, so it's it's weird. Anyway, Mia is an F girl. She was burned in her last season. Of course, she was a fucking F girl. She came on here, you know. She should have been with what's his face and uh, Dan, Danny. She should have been with what's his face, but then she picked what's his face, and what's his face was an F guy from please all of them were. She got burned. She got fucking burned. Of course she was an F girl. It's great. Anyway, and she's like, you know what? I'm kind of happy that I was eliminated by a friend and this chooch. <laughs> so she's happy about that. And she does say though, I was probably, she's like, oh, she says to, um, to CJ, you, and this again is how you know she probably was some shit. She's like, Mina was probably the only nice girl you have left. The rest of these bitches are F girls. You're an idiot. Oh. Anyway, Lexi is an F girl. Surprise to nobody. And I mean, surprise in the, no surprise in the moment, but she never really gave off those vibes until she said, we probably have great sex. And I'm like, I mean, I'm a nice girl, and I would also think the same about my man, but <laughs> I'm not an F girl. Um, I was, not now, but, <laughs> and she is like, I can't force it anymore. I thought I would be meeting grown ass men. She's like, I hate men. I'd rather hurt them than have them hurt me. And I said, you are my people. I get her. I get her. Anyway, that is it for lovers and liars for this week, or technically last week. We, sh- I should have the most recent episode to you fairly soon as well, but that is it for this episode of Lovers and Liars. So if you like what you heard, please rate, review the podcast on either Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Also, don't forget that I You can also share us with everyone in your life if you really love us. And I do want to read those reviews. I'm definitely getting five-star ratings, but I want to read those reviews. So send me those reviews and I will read those four and five-star reviews on the podcast. Also, we're on every one of your favorite podcast apps every one of them, including you can find us on YouTube at Reality Tea Times 2. 
If you want to connect with us, you can do so by going to either Facebook or Instagram at Reality Tea Times 2. You can also find us on Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, at Reality Tea Times 2 Pod. We also have our email, which is at Reality Tea Times 2 at Hallmail.com. Definitely want to hear from you guys. And we also have our new website where you can listen to all of these episodes. You can review the podcasts on there as well. You can connect with me in any way, all the stuff. It's all there. And you can find me there at www.reality t times two, all spelled out, um, dot podpage.io. It's there. And don't forget, I also have my other podcast with my friend Mikkel, Next Week Podcast, where we talk about all kinds of different topics. Um, but you can find us on any of your favorite podcast apps over there as well. Or you can also go to YouTube um, and you can go to Next Take Podcast, as well as our website, which is solo.to forward slash Next Take Podcast. Um, so yeah, there's with that. And that's basically that. And again, don't forget, if all of this information is overwhelming, we do have all of the links, everything in our show notes. But that is it for now, guys. Thanks. Bye.